Gratitude has a big impact on memory. Gratitude has the ability to help us with recall. What is our brain on gratitude? What does that mean? What's happening? So it's, it's a complex emotion for sure. And, and the main players of this are going to be the, the typical feel-good neurotransmitters and hormones, oxytocin and dopamine and serotonin and, and all of those players in the brain. Serotonin is an interesting one. It's made in the gut. It, it works as a neurotransmitter and as a hormone. It, it, it's like a bus. It carries other stuff around. Dopamine, you know, gratitude is, is, this, is this sweet spot where it's not a big dopamine hit like you get, you know, watching a Marvel movie and it's like, whoa, you know, it's, it's that, it's that right sized uh, amount. It's that sense of holding a newborn baby or watching a sunset. Is it love? Is it, is it the oxytocin and, and, and all of that? Yeah, there's, there's some of that that's happening. But on top of that blend of chemicals and that right sizing of, of the, of the emotional side, really does come down to this noticing and this pause and this ability to say, this is, this is happening. I'm aware of it. And it can just be fleeting. It can just be a moment. We give everything a meaning all day long. Everyone we meet, everything, like our brain is always filtering the world and we're assigning meaning to things. When we assign the meaning of safety and gratitude, of respect and dignity and acceptance and gratitude, Boy, it's just powerful across across everything in the brain. The working memory parts of our mind. So brains are really good at thinking. They're not so good at remembering. Gratitude has a big impact on memory. Gratitude has the ability to help us with recall. And how, how and why is that? So long-term memory form in what are called gestalts. And you can maybe visualize it like a string of pearls with events, similar kinds of events being linked together in the mind, right? And this helps the brain as a file system, as a recall system. Each one of these gestalts is laced with emotions, right? What you feel about that, those similar kinds of events. If I think about going to Lake Powell and water skiing, like I have all those memories and it's also laced with all these great emotions, right? It's just pleasurable. I also have gestalts, right? Long-term memory chains that are, are difficult, that are hurtful where I've been betrayed, where I've felt wronged, short change, or experienced loss and grief, or all of these life experiences. Exchanging those hard emotions with gratitude makes it easier for me to sort through the emotion and remember the event. So like the night that my father passed away was difficult. Oh, it was really hard for me. I went through a lot of grief and that cycle and, and those experiences. I have replaced most of those emotions with so much gratitude for him. And in, a, in an amazing way, I remember more of the details of that night. The images are more vivid. And, it's, and when I think back to that night at the hospital, it's not a cloud of anger and regret. That's all washed away. It's gratitude and I see him the way he was, right? And so it has an impact on our, our, our ability to recall and memory and probably not like in, in terms of like remembering a page six of a contract and like the, the technical working memory, but those, those big moments in our life become more vivid as we clear out the old with gratitude. <laughs>